Hey guys, um, I thought I would vlog today. I want to do a little bit of baking on camera. I recently did an insta live where I baked scones with you guys, um, but I'm sure a lot of you missed that, so I want to bake scones in this vlog as well because they are so simple and quick to make and I want some scones. And uh, yeah, I actually have a separate video on my channel from years ago. Um, my brother told me today that himself and his girlfriend are uh, adopting a dog today and he actually showed me pictures of two um, dogs that he's, he'll choose between he actually just went um, to have a look at the dogs and I'm so happy for them they wanted a dog for ages like they always ask me if they could take Dorian uh, from me for walks when they go to the beach and things and they always want to have Dorian when I'm away traveling it's been a dream of theirs so I'm very happy Dorian might have a little brother actually you know what I'm gonna do unboxing of one of the packages that I received this one is from Fa and they sent me some new PR goodies. Yeva, you can always create paradise at your home. Whether it's home workout or home office, you can always stay fresh and free with Fa. Oh, a phone call. Wait a sec. So, yeah, this is 0% uh, aluminum, salt, and alcohol with magnesium complex, cucumber, and melon deodorant. That's nice. Let me try it. it smells very fruity, very melony. Um, then we have grapefruit and lychee. Oh my god, that's gonna be my favorite. I love grapefruit. Oh wow, I love this one. Grapefruit is my favorite already. And then this is peony sorbet scent. 48 hour protection so I think this one is a bit stronger oh my god it is so sweet it actually smells like sorbet like a floral sorbet this is too sweet for me so this will go to my cousin Linda um, this is fresh and free for men so either for my brother or my dad my favorite is grapefruit, which I'm keeping for myself, and I'm gonna give the melon one to my mom. Can you hear my neighbor's music? <laughs> oh, I also wanted to show you this. Look at my spring onion! I'm so happy! This was a tip from a subscriber, just put some soil and water them constantly. Um, yeah, this makes me so happy. Okay, this is my breakfast, coffee and Greek yogurt with granola, blueberries and bananas. I received this one a couple days ago. So let's see what's inside. It's from L'Oreal. Um, so I think I know what it is. It says fall in love with your blonde, go purple. And um, if you guys remember when I went to my hairdresser, she told me not to use purple shampoos anymore. Um, so I actually told to L'Oreal's PR, I said um, do not send me purple shampoos if you haven't shipped the package already, only the other two products. She said 
it's already sent out um, but she said you know they're super gentle they won't be as harsh as for example the Kerasas ones because those are quite intense so um, these are their four new products so color vibe shampoo and conditioner color protecting shampoo and conditioner with red peony and UV filter uh, for colored hair I think I'm gonna like that and these are the purple um, shampoo and purple mask so yeah I was told that they're not as intense and they're actually quite good for daily use so I am gonna give them a go I'll let you guys know um, if I like them or not and the other package is from Vaida um, who is a friend of mine from Klepeda who owns sustainable brand Good Taste Citizen. You guys might remember the linen dresses from summer and the little uh, jumpers in winter that I shot. So she made some new products and I'm gonna show them in a minute. I'm gonna link it down below in the info bar but she's trying to be as sustainable as possible and look even her bag is I'm compostable. It says put me with your food scraps before long worms will be eating me for breakfast and I'll be growing you more plants better, right? That's so cool. I love that about her. Let's see what's inside that bag. Ooh, looks nice. Good taste citizen survival kit 2020. Um, <laughs> that's awesome. Um, oh wow, they smell amazing. By the what perfume is that? It smells really good. Everything is linen, it's all natural, made in Lithuania, in Klepada actually. Um, okay, she said there's a unisex linen robe. So beautiful and it's perfectly my color. So this will be incredible uh, in summertime, just having morning coffee in the balcony in this linen robe. So she started making homeware. She's branching into that. She made uh, a dog bed for her dog. So I think she'll be making more of those. Wow. And this is a bath mat, but it's so pretty. It's this waffle material and linen. It's so beachy and organic looking super beautiful and then she also made these linen napkins for your table these are so beautiful yeah I, I just love everything linen I just like that natural yeah sort of earthy organic look of linen oh these are actually bags so two napkins and then these are just bags that you can use for anything really they're perfect for traveling so you can put your underwear shoes uh, accessories whatever you want like dirty laundry or you can actually use them as food bags like put your bread in these they're great for shopping um, if you're buying fruit to just put loose fruit in um, so yeah like multi-purpose bags so thank you so much Vaida I'm gonna go try the robe on and try this um, bath mat as well oh my god it's so perfect I feel like I need to be living in a beach house now it just has such a luxurious feel to it I'm obsessed. I'm still wearing my cashmere robes, but it's getting a lot warmer, so I'll be living in this one. I just love how it feels. It's gonna be so perfect for summer. I'm so glad that you started making these Vida. This is absolutely stunning. I'm in love, so I'm gonna link it down below for you guys. Um, yeah. Don't want to take it off now. Okay, and this is the bath mat. So I have this IKEA one, which I love. It's very fluffy and soft, but I only have one and my feet always get cold when I'm here doing my makeup. So this will be perfect for here. And yeah, it just goes with the whole interior of my floors perfectly, I think. It needs a little bit of a steaming or ironing here. I'm just gonna walk like this at home. <laughs> Um, so yeah, very beautiful pizza. Okay, so now I'm gonna go take a few pictures. Guys, I'm so excited. My brother adopted um, the dog today. 
and he sent me a picture and he looks so cute my brother said that he's really friendly and already got attached to him and his girlfriend i'll definitely show him to you guys he's so sweet has super big ears i'll see you later um i didn't tell you my parents are doing a renovation in their kitchen i think it will be over next week and it's gonna be so so pretty as i'm staying there now i'll do some cooking and baking in the new kitchen probably not probably i'm pretty sure i will um so yeah i might give you a little sneak peek before it's finished it's already looking beautiful okay guys let's make scones now so i'm gonna use bata nicholson's kepinu kniga she's a wonderful lithuanian chef she also has a tv show where she shares her recipes i love her um so you can get the book it's available in pretty much every supermarket so you can grab it when you go grocery shopping if not you can just follow what i'm doing because yeah i'll be using her recipe i've baked these scones so many times and they're absolutely incredible i love them so much and uh, yeah they're super simple to make um you can actually bake them really quickly in the morning if you have a little bit more time but now we all have time right so the first thing you have to do is preheat your oven to 200 degrees uh, which i've already done you need 200 grams of flour so let's take some flour yep that's 200 grams pour everything into a bowl you need one teaspoon of baking powder so just pop it in here Mix them together. You need a pinch of salt. I'm gonna use two pinches actually. 30 grams of sugar. I'm using brown sugar, but you can use regular sugar. It doesn't really matter. You need 50 grams of butter. About this much. And then you're supposed to cut it into cubes the butter shouldn't be melted it should be um, cold so just like that and then pop everything in here and then what you have to do is mix the butter with the rest of the ingredients using your hands so don't use a mixer or anything you have to do it with hands so it has to become sort of crumbly you need 150 milliliters of kefir if you don't have it because i know it's not available in all the countries uh, you can actually use greek yogurt and mix it with water to make it a little bit more runny oh actually that's all i have left 150 that's perfect so now pour it in here again not a blender or mixer or anything just sort of roughly mix it it looks perfect the last time i did it i added just a little too much of kefir this is perfect texture actually that's it guys we're done it's as simple as that now all you have to do is just take little chunks plop them on uh, a baking tray lined with baking paper um i like them to be about this big they expand anyway so they will get way bigger and i recommend that you wet your hands so that it doesn't stick to your fingers as much and it takes no time when your hands are wet it's just so easy to shape them and i don't like to make perfect little balls i like when they are imperfect like this they just look nicer so that's it and now we have to shove them in the oven for 10 to 12 minutes i like to keep mine in for 12 minutes because i like them to be a little bit more golden so i'm gonna set my timer alexa set the timer on for 12 minutes time for how long 
12 minutes. 12 minutes. While my scones are baking, I'm gonna make granola. I have a recipe on my channel, I'm gonna link it down below. Um, it also takes no time at all and I'm out of granola, so I'm gonna make it really quickly. And shove it in together with my scones. That's it, granola is done, ready to go. On my baking tray, it took me maybe three minutes, two even. Super quick. Okay, Alexa tells me it's time. Woo! And here we go, the perfect scones. They look incredible and I'm sure they will taste amazing. And the way that I like to have them is with butter and any sort of jam and then a cup of coffee. And here's my granola, perfectly golden and crunchy. So now I'm gonna let it cool off and pour it in here. Let's do a taste test on camera. I'm gonna try one scone. Mm. So perfect. It's crunch on the outside and soft on the inside. And um, this is how they should be. I'm just gonna have it with my orange jam. And um, yeah, you have to eat them the same day actually because the next day they lose their crunchiness. Mm. So Linda and I just solved this jigsaw puzzle, The Little Mermaid, I just bought it and uh, it was very easy because it's only 100 pieces and they were quite big. So she pulled out her childhood Disney puzzle, this one is so pretty, so we'll do it as well and look what else she found. <laughs> It's her, what are these called? Like Lily's pet? Little, little pet shop. Little? Littlest pet. Littlest pet little shop. Little pet shop babies or something. I remember there? some of the names. They're like, cute, actually. This one was Josh. <laughs> Why do they have human names? I don't know. Well, that was my first one. She was like the mother. Of all, <laughs> of all the babies. Yeah, oh, and there were families, man. like, they were husband and wife, I think. <laughs> yeah, probably. Okay, anyway, we'll get some snacks and do they the... They were lovers as well. <laughs> do the puzzle and then watch Love Island, right? And that's their kid. Like, and this one as well. Yeah. <laughs> And this she's, one feel, <laughs> she's feeling very nostalgic right now. <laughs> We're on to the third one, the most difficult one. Love Island. There's nothing I hate more now than going to a grocery shop and I see young girls just going in for two or three snacks. Please don't do that, people. It's not necessary. You can live without those snacks or whatever. I had to go in because I had to buy some eye drops for my granddad, um, some gardening bits for my grandma, bits and bobs for my mom, basically got a bunch of things for my family that they requested so that they wouldn't have to go but honestly i hate doing that you have to be so careful and mindful and it, it is a big chore now and now i have to go to a homeware shop to pick up an order my mom placed um for our kitchen renovation and uh there's something that i put in the order as well for a diy project that i want to do today at home so gonna 
give you a sneak peek at the current state of my parents' kitchen or my mom's dream kitchen. Um, yeah, it's coming together and it's already looking really pretty. I love it. This green is so good. It's like the same color of the walls. And there's so much storage. So this will be the main cooking area. And this will be the tea and coffee sort of area. We'll even have two sinks. Lots of storage here. And then the main sink will be here. And this will be the kitchen island where we'll sit to eat. Hey, baby. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, I don't know if you remember, but I brought back teeny tiny pieces of plants from the exotic garden of S in the south of France. And I wanted to plant them for my home, basically. And look how much they have grown. So they're at my parents' house. There's a lot of sun here. So they are thriving. This, These two are massive now. I'm so surprised they didn't die. Um, yeah, that's amazing. I'll now have plants from France. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> In a Dorian will walk himself. Just going out for a walk with Dorian. It's really cold actually. The sun was shining all evening, so I thought it's really warm outside, but it's actually super cold. By the way, I just found this cap in my dad's garage, popped it into a washing machine, and I love it. It might just be my new favorite cap. My dog is broken. Look at this beauty here. Wow. It looks magical. <laughs> oh my god, the lake has flooded. Dorian! Almighty, I just wanted to come here to have a look at this. Oh my god, <gasps> that's crazy how it got like this. It's so beautiful and peaceful here. It's a lot of walking in nature. There's not a soul around. He's trying to get up. I found a tree to sit on and I am freezing. Honestly, the weather is fooling. It's such a lovely spot to just come and watch the sunset. And maybe have some snacks on this fallen tree.
oh my god what the heck was i thinking going out for a walk it says it's five degrees but feels like two i think it feels like minus 10. oh my god Lauren doesn't give a damn he is so happy <laughs> any weather anytime rushing back home So I just took my coffee, my book, and uh, came by the lake to do some reading because it's such a beautiful, sunny and warm um, evening. Well, warm it's like maybe 13 or 12 degrees, but it feels really warm anyway. Um, and yeah, it's just so beautiful peaceful the birds are chirping and um yeah it's glorious cannot wish for a better place to live or be at at this moment Dorian just had a little swim. Biking, first time biking this year actually. Super lovely and sunny. There's mom and dad. The air is so fresh. It's just gorgeous. We're just going from beach to beach on our bike. Got me feeling like a movie Plenty screen time for you, babe As long as I got you, I'm straight, baby Apparently yesterday I was on TV and I had no idea one of you guys told me, so uh, this is what I included. I have a DIY idea. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm gonna try. Um, but basically, what I wanna do is update this mirror right here. It's a great full length mirror, but I'm not too fond of the frame. And I saw this incredible mirror on Instagram and I've been seeing lots of like uh, coffee table uh, mirrors in this um, sort of design and I was like this is probably so easy to make as you can see the frame of the mirror is made of foam um, and that's what I'm gonna attempt doing 
It looks like it's just done like this. So I don't know. Hopefully it will work, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna prepare my surface so that I don't ruin my floor. And I have two cans of foam. Um, I'm not sure if I ever used foam before, but yeah, it's just like standard Penacil foam. So I'm gonna lay the mirror down and spray the frame basically, and then wait for it to dry and hopefully the result will be like in the picture. Maybe I'll have my new dream mirror because I love the look of it. It's gorgeous to me personally. The first time I saw it, I thought it was a little weird because it's so unusual. It's not like anything that I've seen before, but I fell in love with this look. I, I just think it's cool. So let's try and do it. Let's lay the mirror down. <laughs> Let's see, I have clearly never done this before. Um, I'm gonna start here. I probably should have shaken it first. It looks so squishy, it looks edible. I was just wondering if it's gonna stick to the frame of my mirror, 100% it will, because I just got some of it on my hand and it's so sticky. Alright guys, this is the final result. I love it, but you have to be very careful not to get it on yourself. I got it on my hands and I tried scrubbing them with olive oil, with acetone, nothing seems to work. Like it's super, super strong glue. Um, so hopefully eventually it will come off. But anyway, I, I love the way that the mirror looks. Honestly, I'm obsessed. Uh, and I didn't realize the foam actually expands. <laughs> So it's looking really thick right here and it looks so squishy, I just want to step on it. I mean, I'm such a dumb bass, there were gloves inside. And I think I probably had gloves at home, why did I not use them? Do not ask me. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for this vlog. Look at this beautiful evening light in my bathroom. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you in another one probably soon. Bye! <laughs> Bye.